some very interesting uh, methodologies, uh, machine learning based, basically like um, a pattern recognition system. We apply this to uh, climate layers and we compare presence locations, locations where coffee is grown today, um, within general environment and then we apply uh, a climate change stress, so new climate layers, and then we look at the change of the balance. We looked at, not looked at one country, but we looked at the global picture. So there are certain locations that are possible winners of climate change and uh, possible losers of climate change. Colombia is one of the potential producers of the future. Um, because Colombia is blessed with very high mountain ranges. They have actually um, area to move up. Here you, you, you can move up the slopes and keep producing coffee like it's happening right now in, in Nariño, in Cauca, and, and uh, we believe that those regions uh, will, will keep being a, a major coffee producing regions in the future as well. What we see is that those areas that are today already suffering from, from long droughts or, or high temperatures, that's Nicaragua, southern Brazil, um, northern Tanzania. Those are the locations that will actually suffer much more from climate change than places like uh, uh, Colombia, for example, with a humid uh, climate that's actually ideal for coffee.